a virtual reality foreign language learning tool is helping secondary school students visit countries and learn a language without leaving the classroom. It's called Immerse Me. It's an app. Its developer, Scott Cardwell, came up with the language program, which can be used either on a computer or a virtual headset, and put students in a real-life environment in a foreign country. Now, as the parent of two teenage students, I watch them trying to learn languages from books, and I do think it's harder than it should be. The program is being trialled at 20 schools around the country, including Nelson Girls College, where the students have been helping Scott iron out any kinks before it's launched to the world. This afternoon, I spoke with Year 10 French student Alia Archer and Scott and began by asking Scott what he'd come up with. So we've created a virtual reality based language learning tool. A and what does that mean for our older listeners and our older hosts? <laughs> well basically you get um, dropped into a scenario like a cafe in Paris for example and you, um, you can put it onto one of these um, headsets here or you can use it on a computer and you can immerse yourself in the cafe and actually order a coffee standing there in front of the, uh, the, the waiter. And do it in French, obviously, if you're in Paris. And do it in French, in the language. And you get all the help you need, you know, pronunciation-wise. There's a native speaker that, that tells you how to say the line, and there's translations there for you as well. And so we're really lucky that Nelson College for Girls have been um, testing this out for us so that every New Zealander now can, can use a really good tool. Right, so you're getting it into schools now, are you? You're managing to place it. Totally, yeah. The, you know, we had 20 schools sign up to be testers uh, when, when, we, when we presented this idea, actually at, at Nelson Girls last year at the New Zealand Language Teachers Conference, and they've all been using it um, over the last couple of months, and um, yeah, now we're sort of ready for, for schools to try it out. And, and it's such a great idea, because everyone knows you learn better when you're there, right? Now, you can't be there if you're a Nelson, but this way, in a way, you can, right? Totally, yeah. And, and I've got, you've got Alia sitting beside you, grinning up a storm. That's a magnificent <laughs> smile, Alia. Have you tried this thing out? I have, yeah. It's really good. It's so helpful, I think. Um, it and helps a lot. So, so are you good at languages? Do you find languages easy to learn? Um, not really, no. I think, no. I, I think everyone... No, I'm not the best, but... No, no, I remember being abysmal at French when, you're, when I was your age. So what, when you put this on, what happens? Does it make it easier? Do you feel more inclined to try harder? Does it make a difference? Um, I haven't tried um, this... But I've, I've done it on the laptop, and I think it does make a difference. It's so it's much easier, and um, yeah, it's really good. And, you, and you, you talk, and someone talks back. Is that how it works? Yeah, well, if you um, if it picks it picks it up, and if you say it correctly and you know quite clearly, then it then they respond. It's really good. Yeah. And, and what languages have you got? So you've got French and Japanese. Have you? Are you doing other languages? Yeah, we've got nine so far, including English. So we've got um, five Western European languages, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Greek. Uh, and then we've also got Mandarin, Japanese and Indonesian, as well as English. Holy moly, that's clever, isn't it? So this is an app that is going to have widespread application. I guess Māori would be lovely too. Are you going to be able to do that? Well, funny you say that, John. I've actually just been talking about this morning. There's no one in the world that currently does speech recognition for Māori. We use that as an integral part of our program. But we've actually come up with a number eight wire approach, and we're going to test it out next week, and we're going to try and create it using Japanese. And because Japanese is phonetically is very similar, the, the vowel sounds, a, e, u, e, o. And so we're going to try and, um, under the hood, manipulate it so that if you speak Māori, it'll, it'll um, accept the equivalent Japanese um, word or phrase and it'll let you through, and, and in theory, it should work perfectly fine. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Actually, I, I've been struck by that in the past, how similar the vowel sounds are. That's very exciting. We'll get back to you on this. Alia, tell me, does this make a difference to how you learn? Are you more interested when you are able to engage in a virtual way compared to, say, book learning? Oh, yeah, totally. It's, so, it's more exciting and modern, and it's, uh, it's just really, I think it's a good way to... Um learn new language like it's, yeah it's, it's really helpful because this is all filmed actually in the country so we spent two months traveling around last year we went to paris and and so they get to learn you know introductions and things and greetings standing at the very base of the eiffel tower and then the next scenario they might be in a little um french boulangerie uh you know somewhere in paris and then they might be in berlin ordering a, uh, a coffee and then in tokyo ordering uh, an, an obento box for example so it's all filmed in the in the, in the country and and we went and found Real, co real cafes, restaurants, bars and things that were willing to be on camera and, and be a part of this, this new educational tool. 
And so, you know, it's really exciting to finally have it, you know, actually come to fruition and being used by these students. It's, it's, a, it's a dream come true. Well, it sounds amazing. Congratulations. It does sound really impressive and beats the crap out of repeating Latin verbs, which I was doing <laughs> at your age, Alia, about 40 years ago. Alia, just before we go, what do you want to do when you leave school? Have you worked that out? Uh, I've been asked this question so many times and I still, I still don't know. But... Sorry, well, it, it's the kind of question old people ask you, isn't it? But... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do. I do find it exciting that you were part of a, of a of a learning revolution. Really, that for the first time in history, we're trying out stuff like this. Does it make it more easy for you to engage when you can learn this way? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Totally. Man. <laughs> like, yeah. So much. It's great. Yeah. It's really good. Alia Archer ending that. A uh, report from Nelson Girls High School. Lots of people there today, including the Mayor of Nelson, the Principal, all turned up to welcome uh, that app into the school.